What is up guys? It's Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com and today we're going to be taking a look at that Blackwell that I received for my Watch Gang Black subscription for June 2018. So we'll take a quick deep dive into this. At the same time, we're also going to be taking a look at a set of Visconti Milano black leather straps that I received in from the Watch Gang wheel. Visconti Milano black leather strap. So let's take a look at these. Before we get started guys, as always, if you haven't seen my videos before, down there in the right hand corner is that subscribe button. Go ahead and smash that guys so you can follow us in the future. Incidentally, I'm releasing about two videos a week, Mondays and Fridays. So don't forget to come back and check out all the new cool shit that I've got coming up in the future. Anyway guys, let's tear into these. So if you did not see the unboxing, this is the Blackwell automatic watch that I received for my Watch Gang Black subscription for June 2018. Just a very plain cardboard box. Comes with the warranty card, which is filled out with Watch Gang as the retailer right there. And we open this guy up if we can get him out. And this is the Blackwell automatic watch that I received for my Watch Gang Black subscription for June 2018. If we zoom in a little bit on this watch, you can see it's a very plain black dial with minute indices as well as hour indices uh, right there around the dial. It does have that date indicator at the three o'clock position. If we want to talk about the size, this has a case diameter of 44 millimeters. So it's a good size case for my wrist, which incidentally is seven and a quarter inches. Um, this 44, 43, 45, right around there is the sweet spot for me from a case size standpoint. This guy does have a case thickness of 13.2 millimeters. And then if we take a look around the case there, it is stainless steel, does have brushed and polished treatments to the case. We have a Molinaise strap with the fold over locking release. Now, incidentally, if you're not familiar with these types of bracelets um, and the sizing of them, you see right there at that arrow, you basically just stick a small screwdriver in there in that carriage flip that side up and then this carriage will slide up and down on this Molinaise strap. If we flip this guy over, you can see that Japanese made Seiko NH35A automatic movement. Now that open display case back is a mineral crystal along with the crystal on the front. That is a sapphire coated mineral crystal as well. Now, if we look at the back here again real quick, you see we have these quick release pins right here on this Molinaise bracelet. We can take these off because I wanna give something a try here. So a few weeks back, um, I took another spin at the wheel and you guys know, uh, I've mentioned in previous videos that if I'm not a fan of the watches in a specific tier, I will select one of the uh, watch accessories from the watch gang wheel. And I actually happened to pick up a set of Visconti Milano black leather straps. Now, this is gonna be kind of interesting for me because I have not purchased straps like this before. These were, I, I don't even know how much they were, but the straps like this, they look pretty nice and quite honestly, the presentation on these is kind of ridiculous. They come in a black leather pouch right here. There's a whole manual inside. Actually, I'm sorry, that's not a manual. That is a plain notebook, just a notebook full of paper. Time and notes. That's interesting. Leather, leather backing on that notebook. That's kind of interesting. 
And then we have the notes and warranty information for this strap. But if we open this guy up, this Visconti Milano, you can see pretty nice case for just a leather strap. Comes with strap changing tool uh, right there, as well as it also comes with a little screwdriver, which I found quite interesting. Now, if we look at these straps, I'm kind of digging them. Red leather on the bottom and then alligator pattern leather on the top. Now, the reason I'm bringing these out right now is because I am not a huge fan of those Molinese bracelets with that carriage for a clasp. And the reason I'm not is because when wearing those, they tend to pull arm hair a little bit. Um, and I'm just not a, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of having my arm hair pulled. And I'm, I'm really not a hairy person, so it, it's kind of annoys me. But these straps actually come with quick release pins also. So I figured it'd be nice and easy to throw this guy on to see what these straps would look like on this Blackwell. Incidentally, these are 22 millimeter straps. Uh, and if I can stop shaking and actually get that in there, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that uh, black leather strap looks good on that Blackwell? Uh, I'm thinking I might give that a try a little while um, because that, that kind of makes it into a nice black dress watch. Not that it wasn't a dress watch before, but I don't have to worry about my arm hair getting pulled on this leather strap from Visconti Milano. I get it, it's kind of hard to see with the black desk, but I'll post up some pictures of this strap on this watch. You guys, definitely at the end of the video, let me know what you guys think. But we're gonna set this guy aside for a minute and take a look at what these watches are going for. Now on Blackwell's website itself, these watches are selling for $355, $355. But if we jump over to eBay, there's a whole bunch of these watches, these Blackwell automatics that are available for sale. My guess is the good majority or vast majority of them are from Watch Gang Black subscribers that just were not a fan of this watch. Um, and the price right now is ranging anywhere from $80 up to, here's one guy has a buy it now price of $260. I don't think he'll get that much. Um, I think if you can pick up this watch for anywhere from 80 to 115, you're doing pretty good. Um, if I take a look at sold watches, there is a Blackwell automatic that sold on June 21st uh, with a brown leather strap for $79. So anywhere's from $80 up to 125, I would say you're probably looking at a pretty good deal on this Blackwell automatic. One last thing I just wanted to point out real quick. Um, during my unboxing video, uh, I, I briefly touched on the Watch Gang poster that came with this watch, uh, with the Watch Gang Black subscription. And one of the things I had identified in the unboxing is that I did not see where they were including links to specific information about these watches or about the watches that were sent out for the month. Now, as I look closer at this poster and just post up a quick picture here for you guys to see, as I look closer at this poster, there is a small section that says this month's member watches. Now, if you check out content.watchgang.com, I figured out after looking at this and after reading it that they actually go back and list all of the past watches that were sent out. Now, one thing I will know is they do not have June's listed yet uh, at the time of me recording this video. However, it looks like they're posting up past months uh, watches that were sent out. So that content is still available. Um, I was mistaken, they just are presenting it a little bit differently. So content.watchgang.com is the page that you can go to to find out what 
watches were sent out each month at each tier in the past. So that was my Watch Gang Black tier watch that I received for June 2018. All in all, I'm not hating this watch. Um, with that Seiko NH35A movement and uh, those stainless steel case, those raised indices, I don't think it's bad for $99 and this guy I will likely hold on to. The one thing I am curious to know though, guys, which do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer that Milanese bracelet that is on it currently or that Visconti Milano black leather alligator strap that uh, I put on it? Gonna post up some pictures of both at the end of this video. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys prefer in the comments. I'm just curious. I'm kind of torn either way. Again, like I mentioned before, these uh, Molinese straps, bracelets tend to pull my arm here a little bit. I'm really not all that hairy, so that, that kind of confuses me. But post up in the comments below and let me know what you guys think. Um, as always, guys, if you want to see this watch on my wrist or any other watch on my wrist on a daily basis, you can follow us at Instagram slash watchaddiction.us. Thanks, guys, and have a great week.